Alright, here's the second part of my tutorial on how I do my tube song. I started out, I put a coat of flat black exterior latex over the entire stone, front, back, sides, everywhere. I gotta put some more on the bottom because I feel like I forgot that. I'm gonna take a three inch Dollar Tree brush, this thing cost me a buck. I've had it for six months or so. Fill it up. Put it on. You just want just a little bit on the brush. You start at the bottom. All you do is just run it across there. Get the high spot. And I'm not going in any particular direction because I kind of want some of those higher or low spots, I guess you'd call them, to fill in. I'd like to thank my lovely assistant here for running the camera because I couldn't do both at the same time. Again, just hitting the high spots. And we'll go across the top. I'm moving this thing around the whole time I'm doing it. It's probably driving her nuts right about now. Alright, I'm going to take a little bit more of the glue. Basically, all you're wanting to do, all you're really wanting to do, fill in the high spot, you know, get a little bit of this gray on there so it looks like stone, and all the edges, because I've never seen a stone that doesn't have blood marks on it where other stones are bumped against it or you know, something like that. And like this one, you might have to go all the way down the edge. Doing, it, doing this with an almost completely dry brush just to mark it out a little bit. This monster mud looks white, but it'll dry a very dark gray color. There's really not a lot of rocket science to this. I taught my 12 year old to do this. It's not hard to do, it's just time consuming. And if you're like me and become slightly perfectionist at it, you can't have dark spots. Once this dries, it will look like stone, except for this one spot right here that will just look like I plastered some styrofoam. But it's really a simple process once you figure out your method for doing it. And there we go. This is a little dark for my taste, so I'm probably going to go back and put a little more on it on the front. But then all I can do the letters just pop out at you. And this doesn't, in my opinion. This particular stone, I did a lot of damage work on with a wire brush. Yeah, so it's not, it's not going to ever be completely covered. But, there's the finished product. Hope you've enjoyed. Decided to do this one without the music because apparently the music drowns me out completely. I'm soft spoken. And every time we try to take this with music playing, you can't hear me over Alice in Chains or whatever I'm listening to. 
so I'm going to go back and I'm just looking for spots I may have missed before I didn't get to my satisfaction. This is a good one. Okay. I'm going to put that again. And I believe that's just about all I can teach you as far as that goes. Once this dries, I'll probably do a video on my tea staining technique because to my knowledge I've never seen anybody else do it quite the way I do. So, again, when it comes to these tombstones, there is no right or wrong. It's just whatever you want to do.